Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. This evening, as we celebrate the feast of Saint Anthony Abbot, we would like to commend his our petition to his intercession as we pray for the sick, especially those who are in their need of our prayers and petition. We also recall and remember in prayer all those who are suffering, particularly those who are suffering due to physical and mental stress. And let us also include in our prayer and petition all those who are present here to join the celebration of the Mass and those who are joining us through our FB page. Gathering all our prayers and petitions into one, let us begin the celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, their brothers and sisters, we recall to mind all our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. As we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to and you, to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who brought the Abbot Saint Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. David spoke to Saul, Let your majesty not lose courage. I am at your service to go and fight this Philistine. But Saul answered David, You cannot go up against this Philistine and fight with him, for you are only a youth, while he has been a warrior from his youth. David continued, The Lord, who delivered me from the claws of the lion and the bear, will also keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. Saul answered David, Go, the Lord will be with you. Then, staff in hand, David selected five smooth stones from the wadi, and put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. With his sling also ready to hand, he approached the Philistine. With his shield-bearer marching before him, 
the Philistine also advanced closer and closer to David. When he had sized David up and seen that he was youthful and ruddy and handsome in appearance, the Philistine held David in contempt. The Philistine said to David, I'm a dog that you come against me with a staff. Then the Philistine cursed David by his gods and said to him, Come here to me, and I will leave your flesh for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. David answered him, You come against me with sword and spear and scimitar, and, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of our, the armies of Israel that you have insulted. Today, the Lord shall deliver you into my hand. I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day, I will leave your corpse and the corpses of the Philistine army for the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Thus, the whole land shall learn that Israel has a God. All this multitude too shall learn that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he shall deliver you into our hands. The Philistine then moved to meet David at close quarters. While David ran quickly toward the battle in the direction of the Philistine, David put his hand into the bag and took out a stone, hurled it with the sling, and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone embedded itself in his brow, and he fell prostrate on the ground. Thus David overcame the Philistine with sling and stone. He struck the Philistine mortally and did it without sword. Then David ran and stood over him with the Philistine's own sword, which he drew from its shield. He dispatched him and cut off his head. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My refuge and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he could cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. 
Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched out it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Experience tells us that life is a battle. Karanasan, mga kapatid, ang nagsasabi o nagtuturo sa atin na ang buhay ay pakikipaglaban. It is always a battle between good and evil. Kahit yung simpleng pag-abot ng ating mga pangarap o mithiin sa buhay, yan din ay pakikipaglaban. Nakikipaglaban tayo na huwag mawalan ng gana in the middle of attaining our dream. Nakikipaglaban tayo para manalo at maging matagumpay sa pakikipaglaban natin para tayo ay makamtan ang ninanais sa dako pa riyan. And life is like that. Whether we like it or not, experience tells us that we have to fight between good and evil or between or we have to fight against evil against negativities against hopelessness in order to win in life or to attain our dreams at gusto natin na tayo ay panalo. Ayaw natin ng talo. Sino sa inyo ang gusto ng talo sa buhay? Wala. Kung meron mang natatalo sa buhay, hindi yun ang gusto natin. That is the consequence of our decision and action. Pero kung tayo ang tatanungin, laging gusto natin panalo. Bakit pa tayo makikipaglaban? Kung in the end, ang papangarapin natin ay tayo'y maging bigo does not make sense. Sa pakikipaglaban natin para manalo, hindi lang mahalaga na ginagamit natin ang lakas ng ating katawan sa pakikipaglaban. Mahalaga din na ginagamit natin ang ating isip, puso, at lalo tigit pananampalataya para manalo sa buhay. Ang ganda po ng sinasabi sa atin ng first reading na pwede nating salaminin kung papaano at gaano kahalaga ang pananampalataya para magtagumpay sa laban natin sa buhay. Especially when we talk about our fight or spiritual fights. Our fight, especially when we are tempted to do things against our faith. Hindi lang kailangan natin ng puso at isip dyan. Kailangan natin ng pananampalataya. Dahil kailanman, pag hindi natin ginamit ang pananampalataya sa laban na ito, bilang kristyano, kailanman hindi tayo mananalo. Because it is in the realm of faith. Alam naman natin, na pagdating sa bagay na yan, kung walang biyaya ng Diyos, hindi tayo makakapagtagumpay. 
Balikan nyo ang mga panahon na sinikap ninyong lumaban sa tukso nang sa inyong lakas lamang nagtagumpay ba kayo? I'm sure hindi. Why? Because pag pinag basihan lang natin at kumapit lang tayo sa lakas natin bilang tao, hindi tayo mananalo. Pero subukan ninyo na isama ang inyong pananampalataya sa paglaban sa tukso upang huwag tayong mabulid sa masama. <coughs> Sigurado po ako na magtatagumpay tayo. <coughs> the example of David in the first reading is a testament on how faith can help us win our battles in life, especially our spiritual battles. And this afternoon, we are invited to be inspired by the example of David who used not only his intelligence, who used not only his strength, physical strength, but more importantly, who used, who used his spiritual quotient or his faith in order to win his greatest battle against Goliath. Bakit matalino si David? Sapagkat alam niya na sa paglaban niya kay Goliath, hindi siya mananalo kung katawan lang niya ang gagamitin. nag siya, ginamit ang isip, at ang puso na may kasamang pananampalataya na nagdala sa kanya para talunin si Gulayat na sa paniniwala ng mga taong nakapaligid sa kanya, lalo na yung mga elders ng kanilang community ay naniniwalang hindi kailanman magagapi si Gulayat. But because of his faith, because of his intelligence coupled with his heart and his might, his courage, he was able to win against Goliath. Katulad ni David, mga kapatid, tayo rin ay may kanya-kanyang laban sa buhay, lalo na yung laban nating spiritual bilang mga binyagan. At inaanyayahan tayo this evening or this afternoon to use not only our strength, our courage, our intelligence, but also our faith upang tayo ay magtagumpay. Lalo na sa mga panahong tayo tinutuksong mawalan ng pag-asa, mawalan ng tiwala sa ating sarili, at mawalan ng puso para ipagpatuloy ang ating laban sa buhay. Ang tunay na tagasunod ni Kristo ay hindi lamang malakas ang loob. Ang tunay na tagasunod ni Kristo katulad ni David ay buo ang loob, marunong mag-isip ng tama at hindi lang marunong mag-isip ng tama. Malakas ang loob dahil ang sinasaligan niya ay ang pananampalataya o ang Diyos na siyang sanggalang natin sa oras ng ating mga laban para tayo ay magtagumpay sa buhay. Ngayong hapon, sana maging malinaw sa atin na ang buhay, bagamat pakikipaglaban, ay hindi dapat sinusukuan. Sana'y maging matatag tayo para patuloy tayong lumaban at huwag sumuko upang manalo tayo 
sa hamon ng buhay, lalo na sa hamon ng pagpapakabanal. Katulad ni David, dalangin natin na tayo rin ay magtagumpay, lalo na sa ating pakikipaglaban sa masama. <coughs> Upang kamti natin ang pagpapala ng Diyos na siyang tumawag sa atin sa kabutihan at sa kabanalan. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Anthony be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and grant that released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. Anthony the Abbot, you bid your church rejoice, so too your strength, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his own words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without and we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. Who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and, our, and Gilbert, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection in all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering. Please all stand. Let us pray. Nourished for our healing by your sacraments, O Lord, may we escape every snare of the enemy unharmed, just as by your grace, Saint Anthony, won glorious victories over the powers of darkness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, holy monk from Pieter Alcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede. Bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the gospel that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly, do not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansan ng Dambana, mangyaring pakiingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at mayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pansimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa Pambansan Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, 
OFW at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, sa darating pong Martes sa ikadalawampu't tatlo ng buwan, ang araw ng pagpapagaling ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ni Santo Padre Pio, ang mga oras ng healing mass at healing liturgy na may pagagawad ng langis ay sa ganap na ikasyam ng umaga at ikalima ng hapon. Kayo at ang inyong mga may sakit ay inaanyayahan. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas na religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos sa mga makapangyarihan upang tayo maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuus mo ngayong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahing, dasalan na nagpapalala ng kabutihan, kabanal at pagmamahal sa amin. Upang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awat biyaya. Lobin mong tularan nilang kabanalan at aaral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dit sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kami ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus, Santa Maria ay nanang Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan. Ngayon at kung kami mamamatay, amen. Luwalhati sama sa anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan, amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus, Santa Maria ay nanang Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay, amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara nung una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan, amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the celebration is ended. Thanks be to God. Thanks to the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, proclaim His name, proclaim His name, give thanks to the Lord.